Today, I'm going to be showcasing the best AI coding based workflow that will significantly enhance your coding workflow and streamline it. It will surely 10x your productivity and increase overall efficiency. And at the end of the day, this workflow pitch is completely free and runs locally. You may ask yourself, how is this even possible? Well, it's by simply using VS Code's IDE as our code editor, which is completely free. We will use CloudDev as our autonomous coding agent, capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, and more with your permission each step of the way. It will help us build entire components from scratch, bringing your ideas to life with minimal input. We will then use Aider, a pair programmer, to refine and iterate on your code, which is going to ensure continuous improvements throughout your project, which is quite proficient in comparison to CloudDev. And lastly, we will use continue.dev as an AI assistant that you can chat with to handle basic refactoring. So with that thought, let's get straight and showcase how you can set up this workflow. What I want you to do first is install VS Code for your operating system, whether that's Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. And something to note, I'm going to leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below so that you can easily reference them. But now what I want you to do is open up Visual Studio Code, our code editor, and I want you to head over to the extension tab on the left hand panel. Search up Cloud Dev and install this extension and do the same thing for the continue extension as well. Once you have installed them, go over to the Cloud Dev extension, click on the settings tab and choose your API provider. In this case, we're going to be utilizing Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, so simply paste in the API key. But no worries, if you do not want to use these providers, you can use a local model such as the one from Olama and you can simply install a local model through Olama. And in the same manner, you can do the same thing with continue by selecting a model of your choice, by adding a chat model, changing the provider to Olama for a local model or any of the providers over here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my API key for Anthropic's 3.5 Sauna model. You can also go over to the settings configure continue tab and you can change your tab autocomplete model. In this case, you can use another model for this particular use case. But in this case, we're just going to leave it as the base model. And then what we're going to be doing now is proceeding to install Aider. Next, we're going to be installing Aider, which is the pair programmer that we're going to be using to refactor and refine our code. So head over to the GitHub repository. You can also reference their documentation, which I'll also leave a link to in the description below. Once you are here, go to the installing Aider tab and you can copy the commands based off of your operating system. In this case, we have a Windows computer. So what we're going to be doing now is going forward and cloning this repository. So what you can do is go over to this repo, click on this green button, copy this. And what you can do is go back into VS Code, go click on these three buttons over here and click on terminal and create a new terminal. What you can do is use Git. If you do not have this application, definitely install Git, which is completely for free to help us clone this repo. So type in git clone and paste the link in for Aider. This will start cloning this repository. And once it has finished installing, what you can do is proceed forward with the next step, which is to configure and install the dependencies. So now that it has finished cloning, you can then go into the Aider file and then you can click enter. That's by typing in CD Aider and then clicking enter. Once you're in the Aider directory, go back into the documentation and copy the install Aider command. You can do this for Mac and Linux or for Windows and copy this command and paste it into your terminal and click enter. This will start installing all the requirements and once it has finished doing so, you can then configure the model of your choice. This is where you can connect various models, open source providers, all the way to Anthropic. Now, in this particular use case, I'm going to be using OpenAI because it is quite better in terms of refractoring your code. So. I'm going to be going ahead and utilizing the O GPT-4 Omni. You can also use the O1 Preview, but in my opinion, it's not something that I would use for this particular use case. So in this case, use the GPT-4 Omni and I'm going to go ahead and configure this by using this command and then setting my API key. What you can do next is start up Aider by simply just pressing in a new terminal. So you can close this, uh, trash it, and you can then go back and create a new terminal. Simply paste in Aider and this will basically prompt up and it's going to request you to set your API key. You can set it for whatever provider. In this case, we're setting it for OpenAI. So I'm pasting my key and I'm going to click enter. 
And once it has finished pasting this key in, uh, it's going to then ask you to open up Ader again by simply pressing in Ader again, and then you can click enter. This will start up Ader. Then what you can do is you can start off by creating a new file or folder. In my opinion, you want to create a new folder. You can just click on open folder. You can click on right click on this, click on creating a new folder. Let's name this a world of AI finance app. So let's create this and let's select the folder. So after you've created it, select the folder. And then what we're going to be doing now is going over to Claude Dev and focusing on creating something from scratch, which is something that Claude Dev does quite great at because it can build front end and back end components fully autonomously for us. So I have a good prompt and this is the prompt to basically create a personal finance app where users can track their income, log daily expenses, and it's going to be able to provide a visual summary of their spending with charts. So let's send this prompt in and I'm going to continue to create this application so you can see what's happening on each step. And I also told it to make it look modern with a package called Chad CN. So right now you can see that it's executing this command within our terminal and which is the great thing of Claude Dev. So let's go ahead and showcase this, how it's going to be proceeding to install this. There you go. This was what something Claude Dev was able to create for the front end and the back end for our finance management app. Now that we have our app created, what we're going to do now is utilize continue dev to help us with various things such as referencing and chatting with our code. You can attach code similar to how you would with composer, which is cursors really great feature of adding context. So in this case, you can add context to a full on folder, your file. So in this case, you can add the whole file such as layout TX, uh, TSX page. So in this case, you can ask it refine the code for me and then you can click enter and in this case uh, you're going to have it so that it's going to be able to process the code so in this case i think i hit my rate limit for cloud so let me go ahead and change this and use the open ai provider so let's try this again let's enter this in and there we go we're going to have it fully refine the code for us without it changing the original uh, code structure and you can see that if you do like the code, you can simply apply it to the current tab and you can even insert as at cursor or you can even copy this. You can see that it's working on uh, auto completing this code for us and refining it. So this is the great functionality of continue dev where you can go ahead and reference and even chat with your code. So you can even ask it questions, what changes are being made and it will provide you a good analysis and it can even give you a good idea of the refinements that have been made and say if you do not like the changes being made you can then go back into your main file you can then click on timeline and you can see all the changes being made to the tsx file for the layout this way you're going to be able to revert to previous checkpoints this is actually something that claude dev had introduced but you can also do the same thing with uh, continue dev you can revert back to the file changes that have been made to previous checkpoints. Lastly, you can use Ader to add new features or test cases. And in this case, you can go back into your terminal, you can open up Ader within your file, you can describe a bug, or you can even attach a file that you wanna add a new addition to. And this way, you're gonna be able to enhance your application even further with this amazing pair programmer. And this way, you have a three-step process, you have Claude Dev, which is going to basically create your front end and back end for you. You have Continue Dev, which is going to refactor your code. And then you can use Ader finally to refine the overall code base, as well as adding new features or test case, which is something that it is really great at. But with this three step process, you're going to be able to have the best AI coding workflow that is going to improve your efficiency and productivity. Now, that's basically it for today's video, guys. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free, as well as gaining access to our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.